Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm sharing with you some really useful tips to get more milk when you're pumping. All of us breastfeeding mums who've ever pumped milk for our baby know how frustrating it is when you sit there for ages and you don't get very much or you feel like it's just not really worth your time. So I'm going to share with you a few really easy things that you can do that will increase the amount of milk that you can pump in a shorter period of time and just make everyone's life easier. So the first thing that I will say when you're pumping is that not all pumps are created equal and it does matter which pump you use. So if you find that even after you've tried all of these tips, you're still not having much success, I'd think about changing your pump. If you are pumping to try and increase your milk supply, or you're pumping because your baby is needing long-term supplementation, then my recommendation would always be to use a hospital grade pump. You can hire hospital grade pumps, and I'll pop some links down below if you just need it for a short period of time. You can often get these as well um, through your health professional or local children's centre. Sometimes you can get them free of charge too. Or you can choose to go out and invest and purchase one. They're not actually as expensive as you might think. Some of them cost a very similar amount to other regular consumer grade pumps, but they're so much more effective. My favorite is and always will be the Spectra pump and I'll link my review of this pump down below so that you can have a look. But if you find that you're not getting much milk when you're pumping, it's really not working well, definitely think about investing in a hospital grade pump, especially if you're using it over a longer period of time because it will work so much more effectively. The next thing to do is think about when you're pumping. Now often mums are told, particularly if they're trying to increase the milk supply, they're told to pump after every feed. But if your baby has just fed and then you pump straight afterwards, you might find you're not getting much out. If baby's removing what's available for them, whether that's enough or not, your breasts are probably getting pretty close to empty straight after that feed. So my first tip would be to wait half an hour to 45 minutes after your baby's fed. Give your breasts a chance to start refilling before you pump. Especially if you're trying to increase your supply, this is a really useful tactic. So that what you're doing is that you're removing some milk from your breasts, whether it be by feeding or pumping every couple of hours. So for instance, your baby feeds and then you know, 45 minutes or an hour later you pump and then an hour or two later your baby feeds and then an hour later you pump. So all through the day, your breasts are having milk removed really, really regularly. And that is the key to increasing your milk supply. So if you're pumping straight after a feed, not getting much out, try waiting around 45 minutes, a little more, a little less, depending on how it works for you, and that will allow you not only to get more milk when you're pumping, but it will also do a better job of stimulating your milk supply because you're removing milk more frequently. You can also try doing a power pump. This is something really useful that you can do a couple of times a day and it helps to mimic your baby cluster feeding. So cluster feeding is what babies will characteristically do around times when they're having a growth spurt. They'll usually do it for one period of time in the day where they will feed on and off and on and off over a couple of hours. And we can mimic this when you're pumping. You can do this with a single or a double pump. So I'll talk you through both options depending on what you've got at home. You can also do this if you're hand expressing or if you're using a silicon milk collector, you can mimic exactly the same thing. So to do it with a single pump, what you want to do is sit down, plug yourself in and start pumping one side. Leave the pump on that side for around 15 to 20 minutes. If you're still getting lots of milk coming out at that point, then by all means keep going. If you get to sort of 10 minutes and there's really nothing coming out, then switch over. But around 15 to 20 minutes on that side. Then take the pump off, give that breast a rest and switch to the other side. And same thing. 15 to 20 minutes on that side. Then all you need to do is switch back to the first one again. So what we're doing is that we're switching between them so that while you're pumping one breast, the other one's getting a rest. And then we're pumping that one while the first one's getting a rest. How long you spend on each breast is completely up to you. It doesn't have to be a particular period of time. It's a good idea to do a slightly longer period first off, so that 15 or 20 minutes. And then once you're switching back and forth, just switch as soon as you see that there isn't any milk flowing anymore. So pop it on while the milk's flowing, leave it there. As soon as it stops, switch to the other breast and go back and forth a couple of times so that you've pumped each breast around three times. So the cycle is going to look something like this. 
If you have a double pump, you can do exactly the same thing, but you can pump both sides at once. So pop both sides of your pump on about 15 or 20 minutes and then take them off and have a rest for about 10 minutes. Then pop them both back on again. When that milk stops flowing, take them off, have a rest for about 10 minutes and then pop them back on again one final time. Many double pumps will also give you the option of single pumping. So if you need to have your hands free for something or if you want to you know, try and make the whole cycle a little bit shorter, you can just swap from one side to the other if you wish. The last thing which is really useful to do when you're pumping is some breast compression. Now breast compression and massage are great when you're pumping for two reasons. Firstly, they're going to help to get that oxytocin flowing. Oxytocin is our love hormone. It's what controls the contractions in your uterus when you're in labor and giving birth, but it also controls the letdown of your milk. Oxytocin goes to the little muscles that sit around your milk ducts and it causes those to compress and it physically squeezes and pushes that milk out. So if we can do some manual compression around those milk ducts, it's going to mimic what that oxytocin does and help to get that milk flowing quicker. When you're doing breast compressions, all you need to do is use your free hand. So if you're double pumping using a pumping bra so you've got your hands free or otherwise just do some single pumping, use your free hand in a C shape and you just want to put that around the widest part of your breast. And all you need to do is compress, squeeze in firmly with your fingers and thumb, hold it for about 10 seconds, let go and then repeat. So while you're pumping, you're just sitting there and compressing, holding and releasing. You can move your hand around, adjust the angle as you go, switch to the other hand if you need to, so that we're compressing all of those milk ducts and helping to really get more milk out. And if you have a look in the tunnel of your pump while you're doing it, you'll probably start to see while you're doing that compression, you can actually see more milk coming out as you go. If you've enjoyed that video and if you found any of those tips helpful, I would love to hear from you down below. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday and I'll speak to you all soon.